Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited today because I finally found a new way to set up my camera for my drawing videos and it works perfectly. So I'm like really excited about that and I'm so ready to knock out those tutorials and get some more tutorials out for you guys. And um, before I start, I want to say thank you guys so much for 80,000 plus subscribers. Like, oh my gosh, we were just at 50,000 like two weeks ago. So you guys are awesome. You are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me and just oh my gosh I'm just really happy but today I'm going to do a very requested video and um, this is the how to draw noses video and I know a lot of you have been asking me to do this for the longest time and I do know how how tough drawing noses can be and I'm really excited because I learned a no new technique from one of my favorite artists her name is Gabrielle and I'm pretty sure some of you have heard of her um, artwork and, it, and her name is um, known as um, artwork by Gabrielle and her stuff is absolutely Absolutely beautiful and her style is very similar to mine so I took one of her classes and I learned some new techniques and it was just wonderful and amazing so today I'm going to show you one of the techniques that I learned and how efficient it is and then I'm going to show you also the way that I drew noses before I learned this new technique as well and I hope this could help you guys and a little disclaimer before I start um, this isn't a realistic drawing no, um, nose tutorial drawing it is uh, did I say that right? It isn't a realistic nose drawing tutorial. It is a semi-realistic um, nose because, you know, that is my style and that's what I go for. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Is that zoomed in enough for you guys? I think that's good. So yeah, and um, this is what the nose would look like when it is finished. Just like this, and this is a three-quarter view. This this view is like really hard, or like was really hard for me to do until I found out this like new technique to do it. So like I'm really really excited, you guys, and yeah. So um, let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, now before we get started, um, what you're gonna need is um, a lighter pencil. So what I'm gonna use is a 3H pencil or any H pencil because those are the hardest pencil lead and the lightest. Um, pencil application that it um that it has so if you have trouble um keeping a light hand and you have a heavy hand try to use a lighter pencil so i would recommend using an h pencil for that so i'm going to use a 3h pencil and i'm also going to use a darker pencil which is like the b pencils and everything like that but you can just use if you if you already you know know how to control your pressure the pressure of your hand then you can just use a regular pencil or just use any pencil that you want so you don't necessarily need to have a B pencil or an H pencil those are just for you know your um, what is the word so it can be easier for you and then also you're going to need a, a tortillion stump or um, I guess that's how you pronounce it or a blending stump and this is definitely needed for the new technique that I want to show you guys today so you're gonna to want to make sure you have your pencils and your stump so that's all you're gonna need for this and yeah so let's get started you guys yay <laughs> is that clear enough okay. okay you guys so the first um, nose that we're gonna draw is front view and um, this is a new technique that I want to show you guys and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your blending stuff stop now for this technique what you're gonna um, need is to have like a little bit of graphite on your stump already and make sure like it's not too dark but at least kind of like this like that and then um, you're gonna need if you need to use your lighter pencil so you can have some light pressure and some light application going on or just use a regular pencil and just use a very light hand so now for this I'm going to show you guys um, how to draw the nose in front view. So what I like to do, what I learned was to do an upside down triangle. So that's what we're gonna do first. And so I'm gonna do it about here. And I have been doing this for a long time so I can just eyeball it and just know where to put the nose, but I will definitely show you guys how to place the nose on the face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an upside down triangle. Just like this. Keep it light and then fill it in. Just like that. And now you can make this any size that you want. Like if you want it to be bigger, all you have to do is make the triangle bigger. If you want the nose to be bigger or if you want it to be smaller, then make it smaller, just like that. Okay? So, next part is to, actually you don't have to have a graphite on the um, stump already, my bad. 
because um, the graphite is already going to come off from the nose. So try to start off with a clean stop actually, but if it's not clean, that's okay. Just make sure it's not too dark and just use another piece of paper and kind of like take some of the, the graphite off of it. So what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to use a stop and then you're just going to blend the triangle out and then you're going to make a circle, kind of like an oval, not really a circle, but kind of like this or a circle if you want. I, I don't think that'll be bad if you did that, but but yeah, that's what you're going to want to do. And just do it lightly. You know, you don't want this part to be too dark. And just make the, blend it out into where it's like really soft. Okay. And then the next step, hold on, let me make sure this part is like, you don't want those edges to get the, the ends of the triangle. And then the next step is to um, do the nostrils. Like that. And like that. And then you do the sides of the nose. Like right outside of where the shadow of how you blend it out is. Just like right there. Just like that. And that's how you draw a nose, you guys. It's super cute. It's a super cute nose, too. It's just the cutest little button nose ever. And I love it so much and it's such an easy and simple way to do it and you guys I was trying to catch the sunlight so I think this is enough light right and I can always turn this on if that makes it better yeah okay so um yeah that's how you do that and then we're, we're gonna um I'm gonna go on another sheet of paper too without the eyes and then I'm gonna just draw them you know just so like we can practice together and just you know practice making these circles too just practice making these very round movements with your hand you know just like this so you can like practice making the nose too, okay? Alrighty, so next I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how I did it before I learned that technique, but I'm probably going to be doing this technique like forever because this is the easiest, most efficient way um, because it's it's so it's so important to like, I think it's, it makes everything easier when you start out with the values because it fills out that space, that 3D space that, you know, that, you know, is, is in the plane of the nose. Cause you know, this part is gonna be a little bit darker. So I also like to darken up this area a little bit more too, just to give it even a little bit more depth. And this is always optional. You could leave it just the way it is, or, you know, cause like this is under the nose. So you're gonna have more of a shadow. So you can do that as well. And you know, define it even more, okay. And then if you don't like this technique, this is how I did it before. I would just draw the circle first. But in my opinion, this technique is a lot easier because you start out with the value. So you're starting out with a shape instead of a line. Starting out with the shapes of the value is so much easier than just drawing with a line. So, and then I would basically, it's kind of the same way. I did it the same way, except for I didn't do the values first. And I didn't use the um, blending stop, so I would do like this, and then I would just, you know, do something like that, and shade it in, and of course do the nostrils, I mean the sides of the nose. And that's how I would do my noses, like that. Sometimes I would keep this, or you can erase it, like that. And, and you can also, oops, my electric eraser, oh no! The batteries came out, hold on. Okay, um, geez, all these little malfunctions. Come on now, work with me, work with me. Okay, let me see, do you need to make it brighter? Is that even better? That's even better. Cause I know you guys are always like, yo, get your lighting correct. I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, and come on. A few moments later. All right, and you can also erase this part too if you want to, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. But it's all up to you. And so yeah, that's how I would make my noses. And I wouldn't even blend it in. I wouldn't even think about blending it in until I realized how much of a beautiful result it can give you. Like that, that nose right there is so cute to me. I just really love it and yeah, it's just awesome. I'm really, I'm really happy I took that little class. It helped me a lot. So yeah. So that's how I draw noses like that. Now, there's also another technique um, 
kind of like a three circles technique or something like that. I've never done this. I've never done it this way, but maybe this will help. Something like that. Personally, I don't like this way because I don't, I, this is my first time trying this way too. But it does help you if you're, you know, if that, if, you know, like, because everybody's different. Everybody has their own ways of learning. So. This is an electric eraser, by the way. I'm pretty sure you guys already heard me say that. But yeah, you get better results when you do it the other way. Because I do not like this look as much as I like those. But it's all up to you and what fits for you. So yeah. Okay, so um, next we're going to go on and do the three quarter view. So let's head over and do that over here. I've already drawn the eyes out, so we're gonna have that good and popping. Okay, so now, for this one, you're not gonna just draw a straight on triangle, upside down triangle. What you're gonna do is, now, I know you're, it's, you know, for placing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to place it. So like, since the face is turned and I'm gonna draw a circle so you guys can imagine. The face, okay? And if it's turned, then you're gonna wanna draw that center line about right here, okay? And the face is divided into thirds, so the nose will be about here. So what you're gonna wanna do is draw an isosceles triangle. It's like, or is it, a, is it an isosceles? I believe so. And so it's gonna be more like this. So it's gonna be short on one side, long on the other. You know, if you've taken geometry, just like this. And then you're gonna just wanna shade that in. Uh-oh, I'm using the B pencil, it's okay. Because I have a light hand, so I can do that too. And so we're just basically doing the same thing that we did over there. Shading it in. And then you're going to do that circle. Just like this. Oh, it's a little bit too dark, but that's okay. And then I'm going to do the nostrils. Did you guys get that? So basically, instead of the other nostril, you're just going to do a line a across, I mean, against that circle that you made with the blending stump, so you can indicate the side of the nose, just like that. And so I think that's really cute. I'm going to tone it down a little bit, though. So I'm going to do that over again. I'm going to go ahead and just use the graphite that I have on the blending stump already. I'm sorry you guys, it was off camera. Fill in that triangle again. And then do the nostril here. So when it's lighter, you can see the depth the depth, the, 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 the Lord Jesus. <laughs> so when it's lighter, you can see the outlines and where the nose is turned to, just like that. And I did another one right here, another example right here. So yeah, this technique is really simple, really easy. I love it a lot. and. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this this technique all the time because I always had trouble drawing noses in three quarter view. So next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to place the nose on the face. So I drew a circle here, and so what you're going to do is when you're drawing the face, you draw a line down the center, and then you draw a line in the middle. This is your center line, and this is where your eyes will be. And then think of it in pieces. So. Right here would be like where the eyebrows are. 
and this might be where the hairline is like about here so the eyebrows maybe the hairline could be a little higher could be a little higher and then right here would be where about the nose would be and then the mouth would be about here and then the chin would be about here and I don't I don't do this anymore because I just draw like but this will definitely help for beginners so let's imagine that I drew the eyes here I'm gonna quickly draw some little circles in so you can just imagine the eyes here or I could just do like that see if I place it in like that <laughs> you can get the idea right and so yeah, like that. And then the nose would be here. So think of it as, think of the face divided in thirds. So um, third, uh, um, a third down here and a third up here. So that's, that's how I like to look at it or that's how you can look at it so it can help you align the nose. But I've been practicing for so long, I just eyeball it. But this will always help if, you're, if you need a little help. And yeah. I did that kind of fast. But you guys get the idea, right? And the mouth, I make the mouth higher actually. This is more realistic um, proportions, to be honest. So I would just put the mouth up here. I like the mouth a lot closer. And I'll definitely teach you guys how to draw lips too. But maybe you just learn just by looking at that, maybe. So yeah, that's how you place the nose on the face. I hope that helped. And then like the eyes and stuff. So yeah. I really, really hope that helped. And if it didn't, let me know. I'll try and do better next time. But yeah, um, this is how I draw my noses, you guys. Really simple, really easy. Just continue to practice, you know, like making circles like this or, you know, doing the triangles and, you know, doing the side view nose which is that isosceles triangle. Like that. And then front view would be like this. Just front on like that. And just, you know, train your hand to make the circles for the nose. And you can always change the size of your nose by changing the size of the triangle like that to me I think this technique is just super fun and super easy let me know in the comments down below if you liked it let me know which technique you like the best or what works for you I actually messed up there, but it's okay. I'm doing this like super fast. But you guys get the idea. I'm just showing you guys this so you can get an idea of like the size changes. So you can easily change the size of the nose. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my lighter pencil and I'm gonna do that again for you guys. And the sunlight has gone, so I'm turning on the lights, both of my lights. I should have been turned both of my lights on. I'm sorry, you guys. It was probably so dark. But, yeah, I'm going to go on with my H because I really want it to be lighter. But, yeah, you guys, just practice. Practice doing this. And you'll see how easy it'll become when you just practice. And I like it lighter because you can see this more. So. 
You can even make this bottom part if you want. Like, make that bottom part if you want. Make a cute little septum ring. I don't know, something <laughs> like that. Just a cute little septum ring. But yeah, no sins are fun, you guys. It's not as hard as it looks. But there's my way of how I did it. So yeah, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes better. So yeah, you guys. Um, I think that is all for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something from it. Please like this video and share if you would like to. And um, yeah, I'm really so, so happy I did this video for you guys because I know you all have been asking for it. And I'm really happy. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials, but also I want to do other videos as well because I want this channel to expand beyond just art videos and um, we're gonna do a lot of fun things look out for challenges challenges are coming up and um, makeup videos are coming up review videos are coming up and yeah a lot of new things coming to this channel so this channel is for everything this channel is art fashion beauty and fun raw sushi so just like a sushi roll art beauty, fashion, fun, rolled up all into one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and oh, stay tuned for a Q&A because I still wanna do that. So please leave your questions down below for a Q&A because I'm still getting all the questions gathered for that and I need some more. So please leave questions down for a Q&A if you would please. And thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And make sure to also follow me on social media at Raw Sushi, which is my art page and Christina Lorray, which is my personal page. So, yeah, and um, in the description box below, I will leave all of my social media accounts, Tumblr, DeviantArt, which I really don't use anymore, so I'm not exactly sure if that's irrelevant anymore, and my Twitter as well, where I will leave my updates for everything, and yeah, I'm just really excited, you guys. It's going to be pretty lit this year, pretty, pretty lit, and I'm just trusting in God to know that everything is going to be absolutely amazing and just awesome, just great things to come, and Yes, I'm just really happy. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and God bless and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Peace.